Hey, hey, y'all. Who is calling me? Where was I? Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandy, as y'all know, and I'm a graphic designer and a health coach. And a very special thank you and a boop on the nose for all the new peeps who have joined the crew. So today we are making a very special recipe because we got our comfy clothes on. And if you saw the last video, last time we made a high protein vegan ice cream. So today we are making a cookie to go with that ice cream. You know what I'm saying? So a sis got herself a cute little cast iron skillet. Do you want to see it? So this cute little thing right here is going to hopefully be the magic maker for this cookie. So I've never made this recipe before, so who knows what's gonna happen. This is just you and me, y'all, we're doing this together and we're just gonna see what happens. So if it doesn't turn out, then it's okay because we're just gonna put ice cream on it anyway. So I'm just saying. Let's do this, let's do this, let's make this recipe, let's use this skillet and see what happens. <laughs> We're gonna make some magic happen. Ayo, ay, ay, ay. I know y'all saw that. <laughs> So I got the inspiration for this recipe from a website called nutritiously.com. Nutritious, nutritiously, nutritiously. So I made a few swaps and I put the whole recipe in my fitness pal, my edited version of the recipe. So I'll go ahead and make sure that my version of this recipe is in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Again, as of right now, I don't know if it's going to work, but... <laughs> We shall see, but even if it doesn't work, the ingredients are bomb and it's gonna be delicious. So might as well just make it and then like, don't make the same mistakes that I will probably make in this video. Just follow the recipe as it should be. <laughs> do I have vanilla extract? I don't think I do. This is not off to a super great start. But you know what I do have is I have, <laughs> I have vanilla stevia, which is not at all the same. Not at all the same, Brandy. So we'll just maybe use a little vanilla protein powder. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, okay? Make sure you have vanilla extract before you start because I'm starting my own recipe like incorrectly. But that's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna press on. We're gonna press on. One can or box of chickpeas. <laughs> gonna need dates, spelt flour. Gonna need some baking powder, mm-hmm. Peanut butter. Mm-hmm. This one is crunchy, but you can use whatever peanut butter you want. And now for the protein, we of course are gonna use our peanut butter party cookie butter powder. Mm-hmm. Love this stuff, y'all already know. I use this on my cream of rice, as y'all know, and it just elevates the whole game, let me tell you. So we're gonna use this for sure. And since I don't have vanilla extract, but I still want a vanilla flavor and I want the gains and the protein and whatnot, we're just gonna use a little bit of this PE Science Vanilla Indulgence. Yes, Vanilla Indulgence Vegan Protein Powder. Just a little bit and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to update my recipe since the sis doesn't have vanilla extract. And it's optional, but I might use just a little pinchy pinch of salt. So I'll leave this out. We are gonna use these Lily's Stevia Sweetened Baking Chocolate Chips in this recipe. Boom. Preheat the oven at 350. So I'm gonna grab that food processor and get going. Scale, of course, to weigh things out. Okay. 
sticky fingers. Dump that in there. You can use, obviously, whatever nut butter you want. You can use almond butter, but I like my peanut butter chocolate cookie stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she ready. Okay. Now here's where I start going rogue, okay? Because I don't have the vanilla extract. I'm a little bothered by that, but it's not a big deal because we got the protein powder. So I'm going to add just a little bit of the bean juice <laughs> to this. I'm just going to add like a very little bit just to get it, get it going a little bit. Pretend like this is vanilla extract. So just a little bit of the aqua baba, because I know what bean juice is called, okay? I don't know if I recommend this yet, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just a, mmm, yeah, see that, that's enough. That was perfect amount, I can already tell. All right, so I'm gonna puree this first. confident in this recipe right now. I'm super excited. I'm just gonna let her go. She knows what she's doing. Oops. Alright. It should be like a puree. And right now it's just just a little crumbly, if you know what I'm saying. Looks like a graham cracker crust right now. Yeah, so see this is definitely not a puree. This is a great idea for a like a vegan pie crust though. So the recipe for this pie crust, this unexpected pie crust, is four tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter <laughs> and seven dates and a splash of bean juice. I'm giving y'all like multiple recipes, surprise recipes, okay, in one video. I'm just saying. Comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, I don't know. More bean juice. Okay, I think it's good. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I'm getting a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna preserve my bean juice, just in case. So we're gonna save the bean juice in the Nickelodeon cup. Cause there's really no other way to preserve bean juice. It's gotta be a Nickelodeon cup. Yep. Oh, man down. Sorry, bro. Just gonna dump that in there. Perfecto. So it's 60 grams. And then I'm gonna add the cookie butter powder. 30 grams. Perfecto. The precious. One scoop, 28 grams of vanilla protein. Because it's a perfect substitute for vanilla extract. Ah. Boom, baby. Done and done. We need one teaspoon of baking powder. Done. And a very dramatic dash of salt. Okay, done. Now don't forget people, we have our emergency bean juice aquafaba in here, so if something, if something goes wrong, please believe a sis has backup, okay? Okay. Now we should be getting a thick, smooth, and creamy batter, but we just put a lot of powder in here, so let's just, we're just gonna go with it. I gotta trust that the chickpeas are gonna like activate this and really make it happen. I gotta just trust it. Okay, we definitely need some liquid in here. <laughs> girl! Girl, you's looking ashy and dusty, girl. Girl, you need some lotion. 
we can fix this. This is what baking is like, okay? Especially vegan baking for me, this is what it's like. There's nothing that is like simple. <laughs> When I'm baking vegan stuff, I know it could be simple if I just had vanilla extract and like followed the recipe exa exactly how it was outlined. But assists don't do that. I don't work like that. So this is where I'm at right now, okay? Thankfully we have our bean juice. And I'm just gonna add it a tablespoon at a time. Pray for sis. put a little bit of cashew milk in there and we're just gonna we're just gonna flow with it we're gonna flow like water we're gonna flow like water with this recipe so okay okay so I just added in two ounces of cashew milk and again since I have these aligners in Okay, I'm not gonna be able to taste it and make sure that it's okay, so I'm just I'm just going with it. I'm just going with it. I will know how this tastes once this thing comes out of the oven. But whether or not it's good, I'm posting this video, y'all. I'm doing it. I'm committed. Like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna add the batter to the bowl, chuck in the chocolate chips, and then keep it rolling. We keep it thick on this channel, apparently. I be scraping too. Every macro, get all the extras. All right, so what I like to do is just smash everything down like this. So this is what my batter looks like. It's doughy and sticky. I'm assuming that's okay. So I'm just smashing it down and then I'm just gonna dump the chocolate chips in the middle here and then just fold it in. About to get hands on. Don't drop it. Now obviously this whole thing is not gonna fit in my tiny cast iron skillet. So the point is to make a cookie or two for today and tomorrow and then save the rest of the dough for later. I think I'm gonna need more chocolate chips. I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put another 14 grams chocolate chips in there. The heck? It's much better. I think I like the spelt flour. I feel like it makes a better dough. I don't know. I guess we'll see when I eat it, right? So I'm just doing this to get the chocolate chips all mixed in. So now that the chocolate chips are in, I'm gonna weigh this, see how much dough we have. So it's 567. I would think this would make about five or six cookies, I would think. So 567 divided by five is 113. So then that would be 300 calories per cookie, 10 grams of fat, 39 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein. I'm good with that. So that's uh, 113 grams. All right. So this is gonna be the size of one cookie, which I think is a pretty good size. It's about the size of those monk pack cookies that I really like. I already updated the recipe on my fitness pal, so all the edits I made to the ingredients, all the extra powders and stuff I added, I went ahead and added that. And I just like to make a note at the top here that it, I put it's 113 grams per cookie. So the next time I make this and I say, oh, how much is each cookie supposed to weigh? I will know it's 113 grams. Using my brain today, y'all, using the brain. All right, so this is already greased up, so I'm just gonna slap it on there, flatten it a little bit, 
I think this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, so good. Pop it in and let's see how she looks 20 minutes later. All right, sweetie, we're all counting on you. See you later. She ready? I don't know why I still have my bean juice. Oh, she's slippery in there. All right, so this is what she's looking like on the back. Pretty good. I think I'm just gonna put her in for another two minutes and then be done. Maybe another two to five. We'll see, I'll check on her. She's nice and cooled off. Nice and golden brown on the back. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. And the texture is really good too. Now I made it thinner so that it would be like a bigger cookie but you could definitely make it thicker I think for the next cookie I'll try making it thicker but the flavor is really good actually and the texture is really good too oh yeah this is gonna be bomb with the ice cream oh yeah really good y'all so much for watching this video definitely let me know if you make this cookie it was really easy recipe don't forget your vanilla extract okay also be sure to try it with the vegan ice cream recipe that I posted previously and try them together let me know what you guys think I, I think that that would end up being like 40 grams of protein if you had a serving of the protein ice cream with this cookie so I mean I'm just saying I'm just saying and the texture is good the flavor is good the sweetness is good if you like things super sweet then maybe like add some stevia to it or add like two more dates or something to it and then just update the the calories for that but really good I love it that's definitely gonna be part of my dessert rotation believe that so yes let me know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like the video if you liked it. And if you ain't subscribed, then what you waiting for? Okay, we over here making cookies, making ice cream, getting gains, staying within our calories. So go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm out here, y'all. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.